This project was all about safety. Too many lives have been lost on this stretch of the road. As responsible government, we had to do something. Vision by the Regina Bypass is to improve safety and address safety concerns for communities along Highway 1 East and reduce congestion for commuters and to help facilitate the movement of goods and services and to uh, address. Regina is the second largest city in Saskatchewan. It's a population approaching 300,000 people. It's a diverse city, the industry base starting in agriculture but moving into oil and gas. I was born and raised in Regina, Saskatchewan, and in the last 10 to 15 years, we've just expanded very, very quickly. So as a result of that growth, the highway infrastructure hasn't kept pace with the demand for the traffic. So we've seen a number of major collisions along Highway 1 east of Regina. The road was literally just dangerous. At the same time, we've got a transportation hub that's being developed west of Regina that's going to be a major intermodal facility. And when you put those things together, they decided to put together a large project called the Regina Bypass Project takes into account the need to have trucks enter into the Global Transportation Hub west of Regina and at the same time they package the interchange improvements east of Regina into one big project, made it a P3 project so that you could deliver um, what would have taken us probably 15 years to deliver in three or four years. Together the Regina Bypass team helped design, build, finance the largest construction project in Saskatchewan's history with the total value of the project being $1.2 billion. Phase one substantial completion has always been the most challenging part of the project. This was really for us the critical milestone. We were able to beat the schedule and come in under budget on this first phase. So it's a great start and we're hoping we can continue this to the rest of the job. So working with uh, Vincey Graham Parsons has been a tremendous experience. People are truly working together to try to get the job done and provide the best job that they can for the province. Working with the Parsons team in the joint venture has been extremely enjoyable. Parsons' involvement on the construction side as well as the design side has been extremely important for the, the joint venture. There's a lot of diversity here, like 20 or 30 percent of the operators are women. I've been a heavy equipment operator for seven years now. It's been a challenge sometimes, but for the most part, it's really enjoyable. I like what I do and I wish that more women could get into it. With the opening of the new road and the bridges that were put in place, the community has already become a much safer place. It's an opportunity now to celebrate. We've gone through portions of the hardest part of the project in the first two years, and we've now got people and processes in place whereby the, the last two years of the project will be even more successful than the first two years. Talking with some of the people that were involved in the project, some had tears in their eyes especially for the locals. They've seen people die on the roads. They know somebody that knows somebody that has lost someone on that road. The hard work that everyone has done on this job, the late nights, the early mornings, the Sunday work and you know, late shifts on, on a Saturday night, it was a, a true statement of what people can do and what people can do for people. And at the end of the day, if we can save at least one life on this job, then we've done our job right.